the film's entirely based on fact, um, and uh, Paul Laverty who wrote it. Um, it obviously did a lot of research with van drivers and with care workers. I mean, it's a it's a family where both parents are working in insecure work, um, no guaranteed income. Mum's on a zero-hour contract. Dad's so-called self-employed, um, and they work long hours, twelve hours or so a day each. They can do um, no holiday pay, no sick pay, um, and that inability to be with your kids to see them grow up um, brings huge stresses in the family. So that's what interested us, was the, the connection between the world outside, where we more or less keep a, you know, keep put on a smiley face, and the world inside of our personal relationships, where there's, you drop, you know, you're exhausted, you drop the smile, and the, that's when the tensions, the stress, the anger plays out. Um, so is that the reality of the government's austerity measures? Is that the often unreported reality? Um, well, it's the reality of the free market, which the government does everything to support, um, where harsh competition means that big companies compete on price, they cut their labour costs by no holiday pay, no sick pay, with workers they have no responsibility to, they can just sack them overnight. Um, if something goes wrong, it's the responsibility of the driver. He gets into debt very quickly. Um, it's the product of that free market, which we're told equals freedom. Of course, it doesn't. It equals, it equals absolute exploitation. But the government supports it, keeps it in place, keeps the, the taxes on big business low, um, keeps people in poverty wages, um, and a benefit system, a secure, secure system, which is designed to trap people in a bureaucratic tangle so that they are so terrified of being, uh, of having to go to a food bank mm. that they will take any job, however crude the exploitation. Um, I want to ask you about what you think um, cinema is. What is cinema for you? Obviously, Martin Scorsese has recently said that the, um, the, the Marvel superhero movies mm. are not cinema. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola has agreed with him, saying that they are despicable. Your films are sort of the antithesis mm. of superhero films mm. to um, you. Well, f f films can be as, should be as broad as a library. You know, it should have everything. It should every kind of story and situation we can imagine, whether it's funny, whether it's sad, whether it's tragedy, whether it's comedy, um, whether it's documentary, whether it takes us to from different places, or whether it reflects the world we know. It should be everything. Um, and I think reflecting the world we know it can make beautiful cinema because um, it can celebrate who we are, it can laugh with us, it can cry with us, it can, it can learn about our deepest feelings and what it is to be human. And that, you find that in, every, in the everyday, in the people who walk past you in the street, to the people who come to the house. So the, that, su the superhero movies? The superhero movies I just find boring. Um, and they're, they're made as commodities. This is the essential point, I think. They're made as commodities, like you know, hamburgers or whatever. Um, and it's it's not about communicating. It's not about sharing our imagination. It's about it's about make a commodity that will make profit for a big corporation. They're cynical. They're cynical exercise. Well, a market exercise, and it has nothing to do with with um, with the art of cinema. Um, was it William Blake who said when, when any form of um, uh, money is and when uh, when money is discussed, art is impossible. 